<laughs> oh my god. Okay, so here we are. Episode one, take take two. We had technical difficulties. Yeah. Anyway, today's the day, and I'm very excited. Me too. Welcome to our little podcast about knitting, mostly, because that's kind of our thing, right? A little bit of silliness. Uh, that's just sort of inevitable when we get together, but that's all good. Yeah. So, who are we? I'm Tracy. My name is Tracy, and we're the Grocery Girls. Yeah, we're yeah. definitely the Grocery Girls. We are the Grocery Girls. Why are we the Grocery Girls? Uh, because for over 50 years, um, our parents have owned and operated grocery stores. So, we eat, sleep, live grocery stores. Work. Yeah. That's we, our job. That's yeah. our real job. Yeah, that's our paying job. That's right. paying job. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Our kids were brought up there. Yeah. We had babies and went right straight back to work up in the office, and our kids Our were, kids were awesome photocopiers right from, like, the get-go. Yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's, Tracy came up with the name. That was a good one. It was one of many suggestions. It was one that wasn't questionably rude, right? Because I don't want to do that. And there's so many good podcasts out there that have already stolen lots of my ideas, and I'm good for you because they're awesome names. But this is who we are. We really are the Grocery Girls. Yeah. Every day we go to work. We live in the neighborhood we work in. We work with our parents, and my husband is actually there right now, and our kids work our there. Kid, yeah. So it's really it's a true family business, which we love. So we live in the neighborhood that we work in. We live around the corner from each other. Yeah. It's very hard to avoid each other. Yeah. Not that we want to, but it's good. It's really good. Yeah. It is really good. Um, so that's the grocery girls, and then this is just going to be our fun little knitting video podcast which is totally awesome because we knit every single day that's my thing I knit every, every day. single day I have a humongous pile of whips which don't stress me out I know a lot of people get all stressed out by having uh, tons of whips it doesn't bother me bring it on I have I don't know how many socks cast on and how many hoes Half pairs. Oh, <laughs> one sock. I, even get... I actually I got think... hose and FOs, and I think I have a finished object. Or yeah. no, whatever. I I think I'm going to start just pairing up odd socks. I think we should start that trend where no, it's not cool for your socks to match. No. So. There you go. That's key, stay put. Stay tuned because I feel like that's coming down the pipe. <laughs> and, and I'm Jody, and um, yeah. So this is fun. You're Jody. Yeah. And I want to say, too, she's she's Mrs. Brown's Bags. So I'm pretty... Well, you are. Yeah. yeah. That's another little job that you've got on the go. So yeah. um, we're going to have an awesome Mrs. Brown's Bag segment at the end of our podcast. Yeah. But let's start end. with something else. Yeah. Let's start with knitting. Let's start with knitting. What are we going to talk with? Uh, FOs or whips? Um, how about FO? I love an FO. I have less of those than uh, whips, but let's I do it. I have two. Cool. I'm wearing one. You are. It's gorgeous. I'm wearing um, my A Gleam mm -hmm. shawl uh, by Northbound Knitting. And this is. Look at those was, drop stitches. That's the first time I did a drop stitch. And let me tell you, this was so much fun to knit. It's gorgeous. I knit this in Miss Babs Wowza. Yeah. Uh, the colorway is uh, believable. See if you can get a really good shot of the color because it's so pretty. Yeah, good. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's grays it's like, and blues and like a weird acidy green kind of or mossy green. It's so nice. It is. I love it. And let me tell you, this was so much fun. It was a quick knit, northbound knitting, a gleam. She's got the most amazing shawl patterns. They're really sort of edgy. I think. Totally. Like I would agree. Very modern. Yes. Yeah. So, and I've worn this an absolute ton. Oh, it's so Like a hundred times since Christmas yeah, when you I have, right? Because that was our first sister, Cal. Sister Knit Along. Yeah. And look what I have for our foes. <laughs> I have an gleam. Look at that. Totally different colorway. Same exact yarn. Same exact pattern. This one's uh, Zombie Prom. So it's a really cool magenta, again, with an acid green, which I just love oh. that with um, as a pop of color. I think it's awesome with navy, gray, this kind of purple color it's really cool with. So I love it. Show it up close. And I do. Show it up close. You can kind of see that one. Oh, look, look at, that. at that. That's a perfect color representation right there. It's like a camo green, sort of like army green. -ish. Totally. No. It's like mossy, and then it goes yeah. kind of acidy. Um, and this, I believe, is hand-painted. This is a ba Miss Babs hand-painted... Mm -hmm. So one skein of yarn, which is over 500 yards, 
still about 500 meters. I think it's well over 500 yards. Um, so it's a one skein project and I have a little bit left and I'm, I'm hoping to make little fingerless gloves with what I have left. Oh, cute. Pretty sure that yeah. I can get it, get it done. Um, but I love it I and I wear too. it too. A yeah, lot, a lot, a lot. Too. It's super cozy. Yay. Yeah. So I love it. So I know we're in FOs, but can I talk about what I'm wearing right now? Well, that's an FO. It's a long time ago FO, but I guess it counts. It still counts. Yeah. No one's so should anything. I, I'm going to pull it right off. This is the sail shawl. Which oh. is a pattern um, from Sweet Georgia Yarns, but it, oh gosh, I should have the designer's name right. I don't. Sorry. You can insert. It's that. you can buy it as a kit, in when you get three different skeins of Sweet Georgia Yarns. You get a tough love sock, two tough love sock, and one sock glitterati. And I'm I'm pretty sure you can't see it, but the white you can see a little. Can bit. you see it? It's a it's a glitter. It's merino with silk, um, and maybe even something else. But it's, it's beautiful. It's got a really subtle silver Stellina in it. And then the other two are, oh, look at those colors. It's totally, that's exactly what it looks like. Mm -hmm. uh, tonal colors. This one is Grapefruit, the pale pink. It's so pretty. And this, this is called Coral Rose. And it is, without a word of a lie, one of my favorite colorways I've ever seen. Yeah. It is it is a coral I love pink and red. that's got a lot of pink in it, right? Like it's quite complimentary. Anyway. Love it. So this was my FO from a while ago, but I love wearing it. And I do wear it quite often. And it's very cozy. And the colors are great. So I love it. Yeah, they look great when you wear it. Thank it you. makes your cheeks look rosy. Pinky. Pinky. Blondes and pink, I guess they kind of go. Yeah. Are you real blonde, Even though? fake blonde. I was <laughs> oh, bam. Okay. You would think that's kind of like rude, right? But no, sisters, sisters can say that. Yeah. Did we say we were sisters? We just said we live around the corner from each other. Oh, we, we, we are. We're sisters. So if that wasn't clear about working with our parents, they're actually oh. parents. They're not parents. They're real parents. Yeah. So we're sisters. Yeah. Yeah. There we are. Perfect. Older, younger. Yeah. That's why she's so mean to me because I'm older and that's just part of it, but it's all good. Mm. Okay. So I have uh, one more FO. Cool. Me too, actually. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. So I am a hat girl. Totally. I wear hats, uh, not because I think I look good, but you do, but because um, I'm really lazy and don't want to do my hair every day. So, that's true. Um, a lot of mornings I will put on a hat and I end up wearing it the whole entire day. <laughs> like, I've been known to actually fall asleep at night with a hat on. I think that's pretty funny. Yeah. I love you need it. one of those like it just sleeping makes... caps, the long yes. like nursery rhyme. Yeah, I do. Um, so, I saw the Plucky Knitter uh, posted. Um, a picture on Instagram with um, this hat. It's called the Conversationalist right. hat. Um, it's a free pattern. Awesome. And her colorways are amazing. She is so good with color. Uh, this hat features three different colors. She had, you know, the bottom oh portion God. one, the top portion, and the pom pom and different. But it, check it out on Instagram or, or maybe it's even on her website. I think a lot of people have knit it. So Ravelry for sure yes. is going to have a lot of... Uh, yeah. FOs. Yeah. And I'm not so much a slouchy hat person. I like it to sort of fit a touch tighter. So I did modify the pattern slightly. I went from the pattern uh, called for 112 stitches. I went down to, I think, 96 stitches for me. Yeah. Because uh, I knit this twice. I knit this exact hat and then thought it was too... Right to the pattern. Right to the pattern. pattern. It was too big. Which was beautiful. Yeah. I mean, it was great. The yeah. slouchiness of it. Um, it did call for double the length of um, ribbing. ribbing. So it could be, you know, a long slouchy or worn up. But it was just a little little too much fabric. It's me. awesome. So, I love it. Yeah. And it's really cool stash buster because if you have half a ball of worsted yeah. something at home. Or um, it's just something really fun to treat yourself and get new colors, right? And I'm going to tell you what I knit this out of. I knit this up. What, what did I knit this out of? Manos? Uh, yeah, okay. by Manos del Uruguay, and it's called Maxima. Yeah. It's a single ply, oh, plump, you... plump merino. It is non superwash. Beautiful. beautiful to work with. I knit tons of stuff at Christmas in this, and I totally yeah. agree with you. I yeah. love it. The colors are amazing. So and this it feels incredible. Really? Look at those stitches. It looks a really, beautiful. really light baby blue pom pom, because I love pom poms. And then this was like a tonal sort of slate gray mm -hmm. and this is the cream and it, you can sort of see it's got a little bit of a halo oh it is so lovely it is wear. a beautiful color combination yeah. so that's a very pretty hat that's my apple. 
That's your FO. Yeah. Okay, I have one more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have a lot of whips and not so many FOs, but that's okay. So what I have right now uh, are, are antler mittens, which I love. And I bet you a lot of you guys have this pattern because it's one of the ones that Tin Can Knits gave away in their 12 Ooh. days of giveaways before Christmas. That was so fun. I know. And yeah. so generous, yeah. right? Their patterns are awesome. So if, when they do that, follow them on Instagram. And when they do that, go to Ravelry, download it for free and put it in your library because you're going to want to knit them. These, can you see them? They're kind of a cable. They're called antler mittens. They have an antler hat, which you knit. I knit. And my husband wears every day. Yeah. It's really cold and it's really nice. And uh, Jody said, geez, those cables look really hard. They're not. And I want to say, uh, they, uh, Tin Can Nets are really great about support. And they actually say this is a great first cabling project. Um, the hat, I guess the hat they say is. But this one is the same cable and just a mitten construction. I can't even, oh. I wish you could feel these. They're so squishy and so awesome. And the color is showing up really great. It's a... Um, it's kind of a tonal eggplanty color, but there's definitely chocolate brown in there, so it's very earthy looking. Yeah. And I knit it out of, uh, which has quickly become one of my favorite yarns. Where's Here, I've got longer arms, so I'll do this. Uh -huh. <gasps> oh, oh, that's so that. good! That looks so good! Bam! So, I believe this is, oh yeah, it's completely backwards. So let me just tell you what it is. It is, um, Ancient Arts Yarns, which I love. They're Canadian. a Canadian company. Mm -hmm. It's dyed in Calgary, around Calgary, Alberta. Um, so it's awesome that way because we're Canadian. We're very proud of it. But it really is just a beautiful, chunky, amazing, squishy merino. And I oh, love that. it. So I bought two skeins thinking I'm not going to have enough on one. But sure enough, one was good for a... Um, these were small. I knit the small so they're nice and snug and I can still grab things and, and be productive in them. But um, you could just uh, definitely make them fingerless in a bigger size. And that would be really cool too. I love fingerless knits. So now I have another skein. So you had two. I have two. Yeah. So now I can do something awesome with the second one. And yeah. I definitely will. This is going to be something um, to be warm cowl. and squishy. That would be, that's is that really nice? nice. Maybe not. Let me see here. It is. I can check on Rallery. It's yeah. 120 meters. I bet you anything on a chunky, I can make some kind of a cowl with it. I love it. I, I, yeah. I could see myself trying. Yeah, that's a really good idea. Thanks, Joe. <laughs> um, I don't know that we mentioned where we're coming from today. Oh my god. We are so new at like <clears throat> rookie. Hello. We don't know. We anything. live in Edmonton, Alberta. We do. Canada. Mm -hmm. And it is a super you might hear sort of back noise, but it's super windy today. Yeah. Really warm. Yeah. We don't have very much snow, which is very odd. Uh but yeah, Edmonton, Alberta. I love Canada. it. I actually love living here. We get four dis well quite distinct. Winter's really, really long. Yeah. So, but it is its own season, but we do get the four seasons. We get the leaves changing color and spring. I wish we had a little bit more rain in the springtime, but um, yeah. it's awesome. Yeah. I do. I love living here. Yeah. Okay. We can get some heat in the summer, which is really nice. Now. Hey. Whip segment. Duh. Uh, whips. Are we whip? Let's do a whip. Okay. I started with FO, so you start with whip. But I just went. So okay. You so go it's your turn. Um, I am knitting. Oh, yeah. I am knitting okay. the Violet Waffles hat. It's so cute. Um, this, oh, look at all the drop stitches. Whatever. I'll show um, you how to fix it. <laughs> um, look at how this glows. And it really is. That is the actual like, color. It looks like a highlighter. It looks like it's plugged in. Yeah. This is um, a side mini from Dancing Dog Dye Works. It was a bit of a kit where you got this crazy um, um, accent. This was the accent, and you had the crazy yarn to, to knit a hat or club or whatever. But this yarn, we dyed ourselves. Oh, my God. Let me tell you. That's perfect. This was. That's gorgeous. So much fun. This was uh, Rowan Pure Wool Worsted. Yeah. And this was the, nat not natural, but the white-ish color that, that yeah. we did. You can totally dye stuff out of your stash that's a light color, right? Yeah. And so my daughter got a new coat. And so my um, goal was to um, dye yarn that would match her coat. And so the violet wall, oh, that doesn't it show up nice. Okay, that's one that I feel like we hit out of the park. You know, this when you do one. these dyeing experiments, yeah. you think, oh, what was I thinking? That didn't turn out very well. This one, out of the park. It's got purples and blues and greens and... 
It's gorgeous. So her coat is um, this gorgeous purpley blue color with neon dots and this color neon dots and stuff. And she loves it. So this is the Violet Waffles hat. Is, is it a free pattern? It is. It's a free yeah. pattern. It's it actually is. a DK weight pattern. So you're modifying it a little bit yes. with your worsted weight yarn. But tons yeah. of people do that. I uh, use 96 stitches on worsted on a 5 millimeter needle. Perfect. Yeah, so 96 stitches Violet Waffles hat. And she's thrilled. Um, and it's an adult size. It's not a kid size hat. Yeah, it turns so out to be an adult this size. is um, where I'm at. I probably will be done that this weekend. But I also wanted to mention Danny yes. on her podcast um, quickly showed a little, because um, I don't often wind balls. Uh, by hand, yeah. especially if it's fingering weight, because I'm super lazy. Uh, but it's always fun to do like a, a worst. So this is worst. Totally. So I thought Danny had showed um, a quick little how to how to do a hand wound center pull. Everybody knows Danny's little bobbins. We all know that. I know, but look at that, Danny. Yeah, it's gorgeous, and it's so fun to learn things. Your tutorial was awesome, and look at that. It's it's and it doesn't. You know, come apart. It's way it's more just, gorgeous than winding a ball. Yeah, and I did. I, I think I did them both. See, Little. see how pretty that is. Yeah, so that was fun. That's my violet waffle hat for my. This might be a good time to say. Well, I love it. Yeah, and Maddie's gonna look so cute yeah. in it. This might be a good time to say thank you to those uh, podcasters and indie dyers that actually make a living selling yarn mm -hmm. that are doing yarn dyeing tutorials. So Nicole from Hugh Loco and Lara from Jinx and. Andy. Andy from Andre Sue Knits. Mm. All three of those ladies, you know, they have businesses where they sell uh, hand dyed yarn. And so they were showing us the method. And let me tell you, that is awesome. It was hugely helpful. To do. There wasn't a lot but of. But boy, are those ladies talented because you think, oh, I have the dye, I have the pot. Here we go. Um, it's awesome. It's fun. It's fun. If you love like crafty yeah, stuff. It's, but let me tell you, not as easy as they make it out to look. Well, it's easy to throw dye in a pot. It's not yeah. easy to make it look pretty. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right? that's right. Right. So we were having tons of fun with it. And I feel like we'll do it again because it was just so great and mm -hmm. so fun. But um, yay, yarn dye, indie yarn dyers. You guys are amazing. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And okay. don't you love that about podcasts though too? The whole sense of community. Like that's one of the reasons we want to do a podcast we feel we love this community, right? Mm -hmm. You love, you know, seeing podcasts on YouTube and following people on Instagram and getting a chance to chat with them and do knit alongs and swaps and all that stuff. And that's totally what we want to be about. We want to do knit alongs and we want to do swaps and we want to have giveaways and we just want to yeah. hear from everybody. And that would just be like, you know, if anybody feels like spending time with us and, and doing those kinds of things, that would be so fun. Yeah. That's our whole goal. That's our and you feel like they become your friends. I know. Like, not don't you wish we? Met. Don't you wish it was like you could just go to knit night and hang yeah. out and let's go to Andy's house because she's spinning tonight and she told me she would show me how to spin. Yeah. Wouldn't that be cool? But so this, yeah, this is a way to you know keep in touch. We we ne we might not necessarily have a completely different um, podcast to offer, but I right. feel like we have something to offer. Yeah, we don't so. spin and we don't dye yarn. Well, we sort of do. Okay, we do dye yarn, but it's you're not going to want to buy any. <laughs> not yet, anyway. <laughs> yeah, totally. Okay, so can okay. I show you a whip? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Here it is. This is actually a borderline. This is a whip that will be at FO later today. This is my pattern. I don't know. Oh, see, it's backwards. I don't know how to make it do that properly. We'll figure it out. It is a Church Mouse Yarns and Teas pattern, which if you've never used them or you wondered about them, can't recommend them highly enough. They're amazing. They're super well written. Um, very uh, prolifically knit so that there's like very few errors and stuff. Feel free to use those. Anyway, this is the Accelerating Stripes fingerless gloves that I'm doing. And so it's a hoe. It's a hoe because I got one glove. Oh, <gasps> you did it. I did it. It's funny. The other podcast, uh, when we, did, we did it on Thursday. Uh -huh. Today is now Saturday. Uh -huh. This was not finished. Like this much. Well, totally. it was like this much. Yeah, so... Um, and that's what happens when you have technical difficulties, yeah. when you watch your podcast back and everything's out of focus, and who wants to watch that? So this is what we did. So anyway, in between that time, I finished one. This is the Fingerless Glove, and it is knit in Neely's Knits, which is super cool. I, I'd never, you know, this is an Instagram enabling, uh, queen of enabling. I'm going to make you a crown and a badge, and it's going to be official. Um, she's really cool, this Neely's Knits, as, as are so many indie dyers, but she gets a lot of inspiration from pop culture. So this one is a Wizard of Oz themed colorway, and it's called I'm Melting. I don't know why I keep showing that. 
it's backwards. Um, but it's awesome. So she gives you her super sock and some sparkle sock. Can we see sparkles there? A little bit. Um, and I don't even oh, want to say it's a mini because you get like a hundred yards of sparkle, a whole that. big ball. You can definitely see the sparkle. Yeah. And then I'm well, I've started oh, my wow. thumb, thumb gusset and everything on the second glove. This is totally going to be finished today. <gasps> okay. I was going to talk about this in acquisitions, but since they're dangling right here, I just want to take a quick second and show you my stitch markers. Okay. That one's right. Here's the other one. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, right? Donut, chocolate chip cookie. Where can you get those? Sucra Sucra mini Miniatures. S and I'll put that on the screen. Were okay. you going to try and spell it? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Okay. She's amazing. She's, uh, I believe her name's Chelsea. She's out of California. Go to her website. She is an artist. She's completely an artist. You're yeah. going to want every single one. I would like the cup of coffee. I did buy the macaroon and then a chocolate donut too. They're super cute. So these, she's got an option where you can have them made into stitch markers. Lots of them come like a progress keeper. So I got my macaroon. Or it could be coffee. jewelry, I think. There's a lot of it's jewelry. Like it's necklaces and yeah. all kinds of fun stuff. So there's pizza and burritos and tacos and macaroni and cheese and deviled eggs, avocado. Like it's crazy. So once you start getting them, you get a little bit of, I, I feel like I'd like a collection. They're, they're beautiful. They're and they're fun. light as a feather. Like you think, oh, just those are big, but they're very light. So that's my whip. But I'm going to show you what it's living in. This is my Mrs. Brown's bag. One of my new ones. Do you have this fabric right now? It's in the mail. I actually thought I would get it Thursday or Friday okay, this week. I love it. Okay, look really close. There is knit stitches all over it. And I know it's backwards, but this says live to knit, knit to live. And it says knit happens. And there's these groovy little skulls. And it's super cool color combination. It's one of my favorites. It's gray like that. And then this one, and I don't know what the other ones would be lined with, but this one actually has a knit stitch, like a stock in it. fun. Super cool. Love it. Yeah, that was a very popular fabric. I should have known. Um, but sometimes when you think... You never know what yeah, you people never are going to... You never yeah. know. But yeah. this one, I have to say, I'm the worst test market because I love, I love bags. I love them all. But this one uh, had to have... Ta-da! Little uh, leather tassel. Hello. How cute is that? Love it. Okay, that's my whip. That's your whip. Do you have any more? I do have one more whip, and I just barely, barely cast it on. But this pattern has been in my queue to knit for a very long time. I, I have that one. Do you? Yeah, I have it bookmarked. Okay, so this is um, backwards. But and a uh, French word, I think. So good luck, people. Backwards French. Is that French? Clink. Clean quant? What is it? I don't know. I, I um, It's by Lisa Much, again, of Northbound Knitting. I'm just going to get you... Canadian designer. Yeah, a little bit better pattern. Uh, a little bit better picture. It's so gorgeous. This is the shawl. It's a giant sort of garter stitch of goodness. What about? It's got lots of um, fun drop stitches, so I just think it's great. It's almost like you're wearing a little wrap blanket around but it's it great and cozy. and so what I'm knitting in is um I know it's going to be backwards but I'll show that little jinx yarn for DK what's yeah. that called it's called merino DK in Howell's Howell's Castle colorway I love it. so I've just barely barely yeah. started come on people yeah look at that look at that it's like mauve and grays wow. and greens and purples and it's just gorgeous mm -hmm. and um i love i love this yarn oh it's very and that's a different color for you to be knitting you haven't knit stuff this color no i haven't I, this was an instagram post of an update and this happened to be your little swatch um as the oh, picture yeah. you know that she was talking about her update and so i i had that's what this Neely's Knits was. Yeah, I have Instagram. to Somebody Instagram yeah. their socks. And I should say, too, with my Neely's Knits, we're doing the fingerless gloves. But this is all for my daughter. She's Wizard of Oz. Like, it's her favorite movie forever. Uh, I'm going to end up doing short socks, toe up, so I can use every little smidgen of that yarn. Mm -hmm. I know. So cute. It'll be good. But this is uh, unbelievable. This is beautiful. And I'm actually using my um, Clover interchangeable bamboos. Oh. Which are not Interchangeable? Very... Yeah. These... Oh, my God. Yeah. Okay. And so I, I don't love these with this yarn. So when I go home, I'm going to change it to my Addy interchangeable. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to do. Bamboo is good to have for some things. Bamboo, sometimes you have to. Sometimes it's the... If you ever knit with mohair, I always oh. say go bamboo for sure. For sure. Yeah. 
So that's that that's is fun. Stunning. Yeah. Okay. And I have a whip. And I, I if I was dating this whip, which we're not gonna. Uh, it's been on the needles for a while, like since the fall. But it is oh, one is of the nice. ones I'm finishing immediately. Okay, this is a really cool little story. This bag was, Jody gave this to me before Mrs. Brown's bags even launched. This was for my birthday in July. How do you much do you love those colors? It's totally springy, right? With the gray and the yeah, pink and the, the colors green. are pretty. I those love it. One of my favorite color combos. It's stunning and it's giant. Like, if you ever buy one of her drawstring large ones, it's a great size. Could be a sweater, you know, sweater size or anything like that. Oh my God, shameless plug. Problem is, I just <laughs> truly love them. I really do. They're so sweet. I feel like I should maybe stop talking about it because no one's going to believe how much I love them, but I really, really do. This pattern I love, and I've seen it knit lots of places. It's called Quicksilver, and it's by Melanie Berg, who is amazing with her. She's got a million shawl patterns, and I've got a whole bunch of them in my queue on Ravelry. Um, but this one I started, like I said, in the fall, and I think I'm like 75% finished. Oh, and once it blocks so out, it'll pretty. be quite a bit nicer. Um, but it's three colors, and so you're doing garter stitch stripes, and then you've got a, a super easy lace panel section. It's so pretty. I am not a lace knitter, people. I don't do the boo knits, and I mean, I wish I could. I just so I'm is not anything there. with holes considered a lace pattern? Yes. Okay. Yes. As far as I know, that's yes. what I think. So, and I really super love these yarns. Um, the purple is the Sweet color. Georgia Tough Love Sock in the color Mink. This, again, is one of my most favorite colors I've ever seen of yarn. It's just... It's a gray, gray purple. And I love it. It's actually super close to... Maybe I've got men of rep people, but it's all good. And then I've got this... Um, so pretty. This was Madeline Tosh. I think it was her Tosh Sock. Uh, in a colorway called Calligraphy. And I don't... It's really not picking it up. It it's, sort of looks like dirty paper like it's not cream it's not gray it's sort of in the middle yeah. i love it and then this is a this isn't picking up gray kind of this is a definitely gray like a charcoal tonal gray from um socks that rock and i think it's called manly yes but i like it too I know. you're so good with with putting colors together well i start with gray because that's my yeah. thing that's my jam uh and then I wanted to knit with it. This was in my stash for a long time, and I just love it. Isn't it funny when the balls grow like that? And well, and I kind of I'm doing a center pull, so it just gets all loose in the middle and yeah. it gets all wonky. But I'll re rewind it when I'm done, because I don't think I'll use the whole thing anyway. Love it. Quicksilver by Melanie Berg. It'll be a. Uh, I'll, I'll wear it one day. I oh, the, oh, it makes me want to knit this. You now. would love this, Joey. Yeah. That's really fun. It is awesome. Okay. Okay, yeah, and I'm going to talk more Melanie Berg in acquisitions. I know, I don't want to bore you, but I have an acquisition that's got Melanie Berg's name written all over it. Well, when you've got your faves, you got your faves, right? Well, she's got, yeah, like like Lisa Much, love all her stuff. I could yeah. know every single pattern of hers. I do too love right? her. Right? Yeah. 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 So love it. Okay. Yes. We're just clipping along. Are you still there? Do you, <laughs> you know what we didn't say? Welcome new viewers. Everybody's a new viewer. Yeah, I know, but still, right? Uh, welcome every single viewer because you're all new. And how about uh, next time we get to say welcome new and returning, I, I hope. Anyway, and we're supposed to talk about tea too, right? We have a drink. We are really drinking tea. We're drinking the same thing. Jackson gave me, my son gave yes. me this mug for Christmas and Jody gave me this mug for Christmas. They're fun. Super fun. Starbucks mugs. Um, it's morning, so it's nice. It's windy, like I said, and mm -hmm. it's sort of... Um, um, Late morning that we're doing this. Super fun. So <laughs> nice way to spell the day, spend the day off, right? Yeah. Film a little podcast, talk about some knitting. Okay, so. Do you have any more whips? <gasps> okay, Socks. new segment, people. Well, they're all new segments. <laughs> Sock talk. And you should say it with a Brooklyn accent because in my brain Sock that's. Sock talk. Sock talk. I can't really make the accent, but let me tell you if I could. I would talk like that all the time. Yeah. And here's a question for you. I wish, well, not I wish. How come Kristen doesn't have that? She's so elegant and wonderful. I love your orgasm. And every time she says that she lives in Brooklyn, New York, I get like a twinge of jealousy. Exactly. So if I'm ever in New York, you know, wouldn't that be cool to have like a meetup like Eric did when they went to Bogan Even Live? That I would, whole weekend, I, I was like, I would that would be, be so fun. I would be idiot when I met Bogan. I feel like they're celebrities in the knitting world so I feel like I would act like the biggest dork yeah probably 
Seriously? Okay, text on the iPad as you're filming. That's that's good. We're gonna roll with it. Okay, so um, yeah, so we're gonna have um, sock talk sock as um, a said, even though they're whips, we're gonna show our socks because we're pretty sock obsessed. Like we could do a podcast, yeah. kind of like Sarah loves sock wool, where you know she does her quilting too. But I feel like I could do a hundred percent sock because I, I, like I, I love like it. to try quilting. Jody, knitting. You crochet. Yarn dyeing. I, I would love to make a quilt. I would love to. I would love to make a quilt. And there's the make like like yarns. They've got themed quilt pa- yeah. uh, fabrics and stuff. Especially now it. that Sarah has shown me that quilt as you go. Not I like know. I knew of any other way to I do know. it because I've never done one. Who else is doing that? Nicole Hugh Loco. No. Did Somebody Danny? else is using that. Maybe Danny. Yeah. So anyway, I hear the book's really it. really good. Quilt as you go. So we might yeah. have to. That would be fun. That would be awesome. I have a sewing machine. Yeah. It's gathering dust as we speak. I just got a new one. Well, that was nice. That's awesome. Okay, so, soft talk. Soft talk. In my new bag. <gasps> Ooh, look how nice that looks. From Tracy. Is it cool to give a bag lady a bag? But I just thought you would love it. It is. And you know what's funny? Because um, Laura from the Fawn Knits. Yeah. Um, I have a couple of things I sent for her um, Quince & Co. knit along. Fun. And I was thinking, I always I like to send a little something. If I'm sending a, a giveaway, I like to send something for the podcaster. That's cool, right? Yeah. Um, and so I sent her a bag, and I, I quickly thought, well, she's a bag maker. But let me tell you, the gifts that I get of as bags, and and Tracy's gifted me several. Those are the bags I use every day. The bags that I have for myself or the duds where something's gone wrong and those are the ones I keep so when I get a perfectly made bag um I'm super excited. yeah but you should sew yourself uh you should pick a fabric that you love and I sew know. yourself a perfect one like you were going to sell it and yes. keep it and use it the only one I've done was I did have a the Gasleys, a Christmas one that I really wanted yes. um it, it turned out upside down so I kept it yeah but like that's not perfect like you know what I, I mean know. sew one that you would be I know, I know. proud to sell yeah. and use it and, and love it okay so this and this is, yeah, so it's not their exact, uh, they carry these bags, but it's not their product, I want to say. It's from SweetFiber.com, another Canadian company, which it's we love. canvas. It's super thick. But how cool is that knitted, little, all the stitches on it? Little leather pull, metal Cables. zippers. It's got like a water-resistant um, inside, in case you want to use it as a makeup bag or whatever. Lunch bag. How fun for you knitters to take that to work as a lunch bag. Yeah, because it's kind of plastic. You can wipe it out on the inside. Yeah. Anyway, so that's that's holding yeah. my two sock whips. Yay. So my first sock whip is actually that's not a whip, so I can't even show that. Is it's a hoe. This is a hoe. It's a hoe. You can show it because it's kind. Oh it's yeah, kind of half a object. But whatever. Okay, so this first one I know it's going to be backwards, but I want to show you the tag because it's really fun. I can't even believe that color. Isn't it? Look, I've look never it. seen that. That is perfect. It's really Knit, exact. It's knitting in color. It's in the creepy colorway. And it's um, her glam rock sparkle sock. And it's so pretty. Oh my god, that's perfect. The color's perfect. Oh, look that at that yellow. Like, I think those what? might glow in the dark. Do you think that'll glow in the dark? I don't know. It's looking like that. Anyway. I hope it's that's translating because cool. on the screen it looks like it's translating, but who knows what it's going to look yeah. like. I feel like that'll be good. But look at that, you guys. And it's got glitter. I have never seen that yarn before. Look at it. It's like black light. Green. Anyway, that's very fun. I always do vanilla. I usually do, I used to do 68, but now I've gone to a 64 stitch sock because yeah. I feel like my socks were a touch baggy. Yeah. Um, so I do a 64. I do, you know basic ribbing and then I do I've never done a fish lips I've never done an afterthought I do the heel flap and gusset and yeah rounded toe it's classic I love it I know and I, love I it. and I always use two at a time my Addy sock rockets two circulars two circulars yeah um, it's the way I learned and it's just the way that I don't know I love it I love having two at a time. I'll have to get you magic looping too. It's the same. I magic loop when I get to the top of a hat. Obviously, yeah. oh, I so use you know how to magic loop a sixteen inch, and then when you get too small, I turn to a magic loop. Oh, that's a good idea. Um, so yeah, I I, I know I get try the a sock. Try I should. a sock. I should. And I I thought it was gonna be weird, but it's now my favorite thing. Why? It's less 
uh, for me, less juggling of the chords and I've actually and heard that. Anyway, so, just try. I have. I, I do. I guess I'll do both sorry, ways because I've got to run the gloss. That's right. Yarn fumes all over. over. Okay, yeah, so, so that's my sock. That's my first whip. Okay, so this is a sock. Oh my god, I'm gonna talk about this. <gasps> oh okay, You're so funny. don't be bored because I'm talking about I'm not Mrs. Brown bags. This is this is actually great timing because I think you just got this fabric back, I did. but the bags will look a little bit different. This was a very very special Christmas present, um, and it wasn't just the project bag. But come on, people, look at that. She's done a panel of the the nesting, the Russian nesting dolls, and then it's all trimmed in this beautiful print. That was fun. Print number yeah. one, and then there's a slant. It's all the color. It's all coordinating fabric. All the colors are the same. It's lined with that print. Oh, isn't that those colors? Just... Come on, like beautiful. Yeah. And then the pièce de la résistance. <laughs> I don't think that's right. It is. I think uh, it is. It's close. Um, she made me a notions bag too, but look, she's she's kind of quilted it, and all the stop top stitching with strips of the fabric. Yeah, that and it's got really the little fun. leather. You can see Jody how much time you spent on this. Well, I have to say the reason I did that is because I didn't really have enough fabric. Yeah, but do you, I know it that's turned out awesome. It was fun. I yeah, love it. it this fun. sits beside like when I'm sitting on the couch knitting. This is my notions. This always out, and I absolutely love it. And it's lined with the little ladies, as I like to think of them, right there. And then on this, I mean, I, I think I think you guys are going to be able to see this. Look at the, my zipper pull. It's the little nesting doll. Fun. And she made an entire set of stitch markers also, like, little little faces and the, and the progress keepers. Like Anyway, I was pretty uh, blown away Christmas morning when I got to have something like this. And in this very special bag is my Valentine's sock. Fancy. Which I'm not really, like... I'm not a go crazy Valentine yeah. person. I don't know what happened, but I do love bright colors. And I was looking in my stash and I was like, oh, look at this red sweet Georgia that I've got. This is their cherry color in the Tough Love Sock. Yeah. And then I have the pink Madeline Tosh in the carnation colorway. It's not quite that dark, it's a little bit lighter than that. And then I remembered I had this so uh, sock favorited literally for years in my Ravelry queue. And it's a free one, it's called the Lo Love Sock. Um, so what I did is I just did my beautiful Hermione's, which everybody loves the texture of that. I think it's so beautiful on a... So pretty. Yeah. So it's got the little pearls and yeah. stuff, pearl bumps. And then I inserted the heel flap from the love sock. Bam, people. Oh. Happy Valentine's Day. Share the love. Right? Yeah. Okay. So fun. And actually, uh, it's, it's in Tarja for most of that little heart. And she has a great uh, video tutorial. So if you're nervous at all about it... Um, watch her link. Did you know how to do that? Or did you have to watch? I, you know, I was really you've lucky. Done one, I you? did. I took a couple of classes at River City Yarns. Holly Yo comes and she teaches an intarsia class. Yeah. And I, I didn't really get it the first time. But I knit way more in between. I took the class twice. And the second time I took it, it clicked. And yeah. so I love it. And I don't do, uh, I would say, hardly ever intarsia. But it was really fun. And it's not hard. It's just a different little technique where you cross your yarn so that you don't get gaping where you're changing your colors. It's really cool. So I don't know how long this oh, heel flap will last. I don't know how durable, you know, I usually do that yeah. slip stitch one like you and yeah. then it's really, really durable. But for as long as it lasts, I will enjoy it very much. So that's my, I've got my second one going and uh, I'm excited to finish those. I don't oh, know if they'll be those done. Those are so long. cute. Are they cute? I can't even. Love them. Yeah. Love them. Yeah. That's really fun. Okay, I have another whip. Actually, let okay, so... When, you know, we were gathering things to, to bring, um, to record today, I was thinking, what sock whips are you going to bring? But let me tell you, I had about <clears throat> 11 to choose from. I feel your pain, sister. I had so many, and it's yarns that I had to have, and it's yarns that I can't wait for the socks. I'm not overly concerned when. I just enjoy knitting on pretty yarn that I like to look at, and mm -hmm. so that's where I'm at. Okay, so I have another one. For as much as we knit socks, I feel like we should have way more pairs of socks. I know. Like if we ever finished our whip basket. Can you imagine? A whole winter's worth of... No, I can't imagine. Yeah, we'd have a ton. Okay, speaking of socks for just half a second, I'm entering all my socks this year into Kristen's uh, Yarngasm box. You have to knit 12. Socks count. 
I'm going to aim for 12. I don't know if I'm going to get there, but uh, it's going to inspire me a little bit. So it's going to, I'm going to try and do a pair a month. A little bit motivating. It will be. Yeah. But anyway, sorry, go ahead. Okay, so this was a gift um, from Tracy for Christmas socks. She thought we needed to do Christmas socks. The dog chewed the tag. Uh-huh. <laughs> she did the wool barn backwards. What a cute dog. Look how cute her tag is. So sort of whimsical. Everything and about her stuff is look so cute. Look at luxury hand-dyed wool. This is the Stardust sock. Backwards. Sparkly. Merry and bright. Yeah. So, is that gold? Oh, I can't see that. But I think it's gold still enough. It is gold still So, this enough. is the first sock. Look it's how sparkly so that is. beautiful. I've used um, Sweet Georgia Sparkle in what color is that? Birch. Birch. And then I've done, um, I usually, if I if, if it's not a self striping, I'll usually uh, knit right through the heel. And that's a good idea. Yeah, if it's self striping, I always I do love a the contrast color. toe and cut. How cute is that? Love it. So that's a hoe. I actually have it cast on the other one. It, they just feel her yarn just feels anyone who's used the wool barn just knows we how. don't have that locally. Very, uh, we, this was a treat, right? Yeah, yeah, this was a very big treat. Yeah, so it was fun. These are gonna I be see my Christmas people... 2016. You're I am so far ahead of the game right you now. You really are like you're impressive. I so. uh, I see what people rave about. It's really lovely, lovely yarn. It is. Yeah, yeah. I've actually seen some new colors recently on her on the or I don't know if they're new, but new to me. But they're they're pretty fabulous. Well, wow. yeah, that's awesome. Okay, that's me. Okay, so I have a I have a finished object in socks. I could talk about if you want. I could actually talk probably for another hour on my sock whip basket because it's that big. But I won't. Uh, we'll save some for another day. Um, this is my finished pair. Okay, they're looking a little neon. It's kind of not quite that neon, but it is that fabulous. And this is um, mustache yarn. I know, I know, right? Like, come on, hello, beauties. Um, this perfect sock, I believe is what she calls it, and it's her modern colorway. And it is, how many stripes? Like so many, seven or eight or something like that? Uh, I love it, and it's really beautiful to wear, and I've worn them a lot. But this is my, oh, hello, Ozzy. Hello, Ozzy. Ozzy's coming on the podcast, people. Ozzy's looking weirdly uncomfortable as I'm holding him. It's like, what are hello? you doing? Hello. Oh, look at that face. Hello, Ozzy. Oh, this is Tracy's dog, Ozzy. He is very so sweet. Awesome. He's very sweet. Officially um, the laziest dog in the universe. I'm pretty sure. No. He sleeps about 23 and a half hours a day. Oh, wouldn't you love to be a dog? <laughs> <laughs> but, um, okay, here's one thing about this that I thought was kind of awesome. My first fish lips kiss heel. Okay, you did a great job. That's so intimidating. I had to read the pattern. pattern and I had to like what? literally go back and forth. But anyway. I would like Cole's notes on a the fish lip kiss I heel. I certainly, even to do it again, I would need it again because yeah. for both socks I had to look it up. It fits really well. And it does it? Yeah, it fits really well. I'm, I'm surprised. I, think I feel like your voice is going up a little bit. Which and I'm being dishonest. Okay, my voice could be going up because I don't know that it's the heel for me. Okay, that's good to know. I love what I've been doing, and it's my favorite, favorite heel, is it's still the slip stitch heel flap. And I love, it's a Dutch heel, I think, if you look it up. It's in, uh, I came across it in the Lara Neal book, uh, Sock Architecture, oh. birthday present, uh, which has gotten a ton of use. And it's a it's a Dutch heel, but it's a square. I should show you a pair it's of It's pretty socks. neat. It, it's not a V shape, because your heel's not really that shape. It You know, the, bat, the heel flap ends up being like a... My fingers aren't square. But you get what I mean. It actually fits the back Do of your heel. Do you have one of your whips here that are the square? Um, I do. Hedgehog Fiber Sock Club. Not finished. Not even one. But see how the heel is... Yeah, see you can that? see that square. I feel like that's my ideal You heel. love how it fits. I love it. I feel like it fits really well. And then I did the slip stitch flap. So that's the same as the slip stitch I would do. Yes, and then it's just a different heel turn. Right. Instead of dividing your stitches in two, and then it makes that V shape, Yes. you divide your stitches in thirds. And I, it actually, when you do this heel, you have less stitches to decrease in the gusset. How many less? Because the Signif Like a third, I would say. It's way less. The gusset, to me, it's like, oh. That's the, the part decreases. of the sock I don't love. The gusset yeah. decreases. But... It's necessary because you need that fabric for it, the sock yeah, to I would fit like well. to, to... Yeah, I'll show you. Yeah. I'll show you. I love it. It's my favorite. Yeah. I and like I do, that. I have to say, I'm loving um, Hedgehog Fibers yarns too. Yeah, you're a club member. The second time. That was a Christmas present. I am. So I yeah. better get knitting it, right? 
But that's that's my FO, and I'm very excited about that one. I think that will go in my box of socks. I think. Love. I know. Thanks. Thanks. I you, I have to say, I've never entered an in a Me either. This is it for me, though. I'm casting on today for another one. Yeah. The Diary of a Yarn Snob Milk Shed blog, Three Color Cashmere Steph Paddle. and Jules are hosting Steph a fun and Jules. one. It's going to be a good one. I got the yarn. I got the pattern. I'm ready to go. It's just going to be fun. Yeah. Because knit alongs are fun. Knit alongs are, are very fun. Yeah. Right? And I'm, I'm knitting anyway, so why not? I I've love had that things where I thought, you know, I think that might qualify, but I just never have. Never have. I have one more whip. Yay. That I want to show. Yay. Um, this bag is part of my Danny collection. It's so beautiful. Jen. Jen I'm going to get a picture without all the glare. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, dark purple. Anyway, um, she has, to, I've reinvented this with a grapey canvas bottom for her mini along. She's doing a mini along for February. Yeah. And I had done the large size first, so I thought it'd be fun to do a mini version, which is the soft version. Anyway. It is literally the perfect sock size bag. Yeah. So, Danny, those yeah. are on your the way to you. Yay. So, this yarn. This is pretty. Oh, this, yes. Right. This is nomadic yarns. Mm -hmm. Look at the colors. That's true to color, too. It's so vivid. There's a light pink that you can see, but I am sort of think the orange and the dark. There's an orange, a dark red, and a fuchsia that are sort of squishing together when on the... Show your sock. But there yes. you go. That's where they all are. Look at that. Oh my god, I love it. This striped socks are so are they fun. So, so much fun. fun to knit. Yes. So again, just my uh, 64 inch and a half. Um, I'm almost ready. I'm using Luet Gems in because this is a sport weight. She's got sport weight, which I yep. love. Yeah. 2.5 needles, and then I'm gonna uh, do the heel. That's gonna be and the toe. So pretty. Right? Yes. How fun is that? Because really? I don't like to uh, break up my um, I have knit socks, self-striping socks, where I just continue on, and it's yeah. sort of... Well, this one, I literally just fell in love with the colors so much that I didn't want to enter... I just didn't yeah. want to quit. Yeah. Well, the nice thing about fish lips is you don't get... But it didn't, didn't it make a groovy heel? Yeah. Like, those are just exactly three stripes, and then bam, you're on to the next stripe when you're... And the first the per first person I heard that, that did it, and she said she didn't invent it, but... Susan B. Anderson. And she had, had a self-striping. Self and then she said, put in a color, and then you're you're not interrupting any of your stripes. It's such a good idea. So she's a sock icon. Oh. Really. I want to knit all this. And she spins yarn and knit socks out of it. I mean, oh my God. So, I would love to do that one day. I would love like to, to spin? Learn. Well, I'm afraid to learn because I feel like you I would be. want a wheel. I yes. want hand painted fiber. Yeah. I want it all. But I would love to spin yarn somewhere, like take a class or whatever, yeah. and then knit socks or hat or whatever That's the yarn did. I would love it. Well, because it's just like the, the yarn that I dyed, and now I'm knitting yeah. a hat. It's something ex something special about it that I, I can't wait to cast on our sock yarn. Yeah. So fun. Yeah, I'm excited about that. So, that's, so it. that's it. Do you have any more? I mean, I have a ton of sock whips. These are my sock hose. It sounds rude, but it's not. Sock hoe. Yarn enabler, lipstick. I don't know why. Why do I not have number two of this? Good question. Felici. Uh, so pretty. You gave it to me that summer. Yeah. Couldn't wait to cast it on. Where's number two? I could have been wearing this all winter. <laughs> this one? Like, can you see okay. the amount of work I that went into this I realize why that's not a number two. I did need a break after this, to be quite honest. Oh it God. wasn't that hard. But, oh, it's so pretty. Who doesn't want to wear these? Um, another Manos yarn that's right up there for me, the Allegria oh, yeah. Merino Nylon. Super soft. Makes stunning socks. This is a Rachel Coopy pattern called Delbert. Oh my god, I have to make this other one. Anyway, and then Arnon Carlos, which I've never knit with. I own, I've never knit you with. You should. Like, come on. It's scrap, it's more rustic. It's got more scratchy bite to it, is what they say. <laughs> okay. Uh, it is, but that makes it, I mean, I think these guys are going to last a long time. I did one pair in the kind of a tealy and orange color, and I wear them all the time, and I did but, the I toes mean, look, and bright on. This, look at the fanciness. It's like a obvious, well, and the color repeat, you only get like two color repeats in a whole sock. It just looks That's so how fancy. Long. The color repeat is from here to here, and wow. then it starts again, so... Yeah. Um, it's pretty special stuff. I, I have um, maybe three more colors in my stash. So, and I couldn't decide what my contrasting color would be. I started with the cream and then thought, 
well, it's not really cream as I'm knitting it. And so I thought I'll do the gray when I'm in the heel. And then I thought, I don't know about that. So I did a blue toe. <laughs> so these well. are my socks of indecision, love but I them. love them. Yeah. So I will. These are hose and it, they're going to get mates because, uh, just because, obviously, I wear I wear these guys, I wear handmade socks all winter. I actually, because I wear Uggs, I, I don't actually, wear Uggs as very as often. Those are my slippers, and those were last year my boots. But and normally I just didn't wear socks. Yeah. I'm completely transformed. I actually said I would never knit a sock. I was True. one of those. I remember I'm, when you said that. No, yeah. I've only been knitting a year and a half, and I thought obviously chunkier yarn, instant gratification. But once I knit one sock and you or a pair, you're you're sort of hooked. There's something crazy about it. Oh, it's they're so cozy. Crazy. I love yeah. it. I love, love, love it. And I don't even and everybody always asks, Oh, who are those socks for? Well, ninety nine percent of the time they're for me. Yeah, I'm um, selfish that way. I've knit very few for other people. But uh, my daughter, seventeen, she's got a few pairs because she loves them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yes. And her feet aren't what nearly so big. If I knit them for my husband or my son, I'd be knitting for My husband's a 13. Good They Lord. would never, ever get the second sock. I, no. Here's my sock resolution, and I was thinking about this the other day. I did take a class at our local yarn shop to learn to knit two at a time socks. Okay, Krista just did that too, and just... I've never knit another pair two at a time. It for sure doesn't save me time. I feel like it takes the same amount of time to knit a sock. Yeah. But at least they're done. I don't have to cast on another sock. So yeah. I'm going to, I don't know which pair, but that's my goal. I want to get back on. Good for you. I've thought about it so many times. It doesn't, it's just more fiddly, right? Like you're changing your yeah. And can we talk about Mina for a minute? Hello, if Mina ever saw this. Oh um, the official sock knitting robot of the podcast Her world. Hands. How do they not get sore? I don't know. I don't know. She's amazing. Like yeah. flabbergasting unbelievable yeah. that 35 pairs of socks in January I just watched her newest episode last night I didn't quite get through it all it's a bit of a movie she's got so so much good information she's got so podcast. much good information but I did see the part where she was showing her full box like, like come on right yeah. so crazy. inspiring crazy so she's done her box of socks three times already and it's yeah. just it was the end of January <laughs> good lord she you needs go, more girl. than a box she <laughs> needs a tub <laughs> she does yeah okay anyway love, love it. it love it so, okay. I guess we should maybe do some retail therapy. Are we done sock talk? Retail therapy, people. Or I just couldn't resist. Because we don't, you know, necessarily need more yarn. It's like we literally yeah. cannot resist it. We don't need more. And I don't live my life like that. I don't live the old, you don't need another poly. No, that's not happening. I know that. Okay, so I could Passion. show you tons and tons that I've gotten over the last, you know, month. But I just wanted to grab a couple of things and I see... Um, two of them are from the same company, actually. What do you mean? This one and this one. Okay, cool. Okay, so. So show them both. So Sarah from Love Sock Wool is Sarah, a complete enabler. You. And I actually blame her for this. You don't need much enabling, if we're um, being honest. Well, probably. she showed it on her podcast and I had to Okay, let's one, blame so. her. Let's go with that. Yeah, we're blaming her. <gasps> you guys. Oh my God, Jody. Oh, look at the sparkles are showing up. Look at it. Let me just go. Love, love, love. Let me yeah, do this. Good idea. Oh, yes. What's it called? Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny. Can you guys eat Okay, those could be Easter socks. Well, that's the point. So I forget think. the whips. Cast on Easter socks. Totally. And this is her sparkle gnome. She's got 8,000 bases to choose from. This was a pre-order. And I love Sparkle, so I got her Sparkle Socks. It's a 75-20, Sparkle Power. Okay, her yarns, you guys, are he, she's so much fun. She's got a little uh, podcast update when she does. Like, she does a podcast before her big updates. Oh, my God, that's so cool. Where you get all your... So, I feel like I'm going to enter... A cutest <laughs> label ever yeah. with the little tractor. For all I know, I you know it could be over, but these are what I'm going to. I'm going to cast on these socks and hopefully enter them into Sarah's knit along, because her knit along was knit anything with no makers. And you gave me no makers for Christmas, so I, did. I could possibly have another sock whip. Yeah, yeah. So or six. So actually, it's funny. I did not have this for our Thursday podcast as acquisitions. But I did have it for today. Oh, I didn't even grab the yarn that came. I, literally, it after came we stopped the recording, the mailman came. Yeah, with the so that's yarn. fun. Okay. 
Okay, so I have, I have two. Okay. Um, did you get, show me both of yours? No, no, I have three. You have three. Okay, I have two. I'm going to show you this one first. Okay. This is so cute, you guys. Again, stripes. It's just irresistible. If you can read backwards, you know that says <laughs> the cozy knitter, which I feel like a theme today. Like I've got a lot. I've got Canadian patterns happening. I've got Canadian yarns. Um, this is her, it's a bliss base. It's a merino nylon bliss base. Celebrate the night. And it's a black and oh. rainbow. Oh my God. If you go to but her not, site. But not. Uh, it's muted. Yeah. Like it's, it's a soft salmon-y pink and a soft yellow and an aqua and a teal and a purple. And then you get to choose the mini for the. You chose, chose the mini? I chose the mini. Oh yeah. That's fun. So you can do whatever you want. So I chose this kind of aqua color, which I really love. And Will you do cuff, heels, and toes? Um, I don't know how much is on. I would say heels and toes for sure. Yeah. What, like two of the three. Right. Either cuff and toes or... Because yeah. I'm not sure how much is on here. I'd have to weigh it and then I don't really know how much I need. But um, two for sure. I'd like to use up as much as I can, right? Because it's super cute and it matches perfectly. Um, those are going to be that. really sweet. So cute. I'm probably... I got a lot I have of some for yard in my stash. And I would like to ask um, Dyer's... Is that a hand wound ball? Yes, I think that's a hand wound ball. Can you imagine? No. Can you imagine? Did you see the Nomadic Yarns update? She had a huge tub of balls that look like this. It mm -hmm. has to be hand wound. How else do you do that? I don't know. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know for sure, but I feel like it is. And that would be enough to draw. You would you would need a little army of helpers if you have a big It does look pretty spectacular oh my when God. you get it. It's so pretty like to knit from, yeah. right? So that was my one acquisition. But I have one more, but uh, you go. Okay, so um, I have also a Neely's Knits that I saw yeah. on Instagram. She actually has a podcast. No way. Yeah, I'm going to have to look it up oh, and I'm I'm we'll it let up. you know because she, she's got a podcast. Doesn't everybody? Even we do. <laughs> okay, look at this, you guys. This oh. is... I saw this a while back in Messenger. She said she was out, but keep watch because she'll do it again. This is thing one and thing two. Dr. Seuss. Oh my god. Oh, That's and the sparkle is really showing. Yeah. And then the red and white stripe. But look at the red. It's that like is blue. A is beautiful it? red. It's yeah. a little more blue than So that. the sparkle is the heel and toe and then her her um 400 yards is 80 20 um 100 grams of her super wash. Like you get 500 Yes. yards yes. of yarn in her kit. I didn't order this separate. This came with it. Right. This was It's a set. How fun is that? It's beautiful. I think this color is a color that I'm drawn to. Because every well, time I... Well, I, I agree. Yeah, anyway, so love that. I have to say... First I'm, time with her yarn, and it's super soft, you guys. It's lovely. The greens in that I'm melting one, it's like there's a few greens in each stripe. It's almost like it's glowing. Yeah. It's really beautiful. Very, very pretty. Okay, well, I'm drawn to that color, too. Do you want to see why? Oh, my God. Oh, Isn't that funny? M I didn't even know you G bought that. <gasps> That's right. It's a gradient. And it's backwards again. I'm sure we're all tired of hearing that. This is a brand new yarn. Brand, brand new. Just launched this week, I want to say, February 1st. It's uh, from River City Yarns. It's their Kaleidoscope Colors. So they're all five gradient kits. Stunning. Dyed by the amazing Krista of Rain City Knits. So if you go to her website or you're familiar with her yarn, you know she's got this gift for playful, bright, in-your-face color. Right? She's just amazing. There's This is the Raindrop Blue, which is sort of like from a deep sea blue all the way to this pale, pale aqua kind of. It's showing up quite wow, nice, but it's brighter. Nice. It's brighter. Look at the packaging. I know. How cute is that? So I was lucky enough to knit with it already. It is an amazing 100% merino. It's very springy. Super wash? It's, yes. Is it? Good call. Let me see here. Yes, 100% super wash merino, merino. So there are five mini cakes and you get about 100 to 125 meters in each cake. So this is pretty, you can get a pretty decent size shawl out of one yeah. of these kits. Or what I'm going to do with this, there's a shawl by Melanie Berg called The Joker and the Thief. And you need a base color and then you incorporate the gradient throughout the kit. Oh, how fun is that? I know. And so for a gray, gray will be my base color. Because shocking. Shocking. Although there's a color from Sweet Georgia called Bison that's kind of like cafe au lait, like a not as dark as chocolate brown. It's like brown and gray. 
kind of a mushroomy brown. I was thinking about maybe that too, but I probably lean towards gray. Anyway, I love it. I'm very excited about it. And uh, that's it's my other stunning. acquisition. It's not quite showing up as gorgeous. It's not. It's, it's brighter. It's, yeah. it's brighter. I'm sure. Uh, so pretty. Not sure if it's on their website. They have an awesome online store. but And there's um, every color in the rainbow. Okay, the other one that I was looking at picking, the brightest color was this color. For real. And I, you know what, you guys? I don't know that I'm going to be able to stop at one kit of this. So uh, I have a feeling I might get that pink. Can you, can you get this on the River City? Because that's our local yarn store. Tracy actually it works is. there. I do. Lucky um, me. So this is on their website to buy. I think so. And if not, you can call them. But um, it must be. They I don't do know. lots of shipping. Sorry, but I don't know enough about that that part of it. I don't know what's... Um, I'm sure it will be, though. Anyway, it's awesome. Yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And I'm very excited about knitting with it. So that is it for acquisitions for me. Yeah, me too. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, how fun. Oh, this was super duper fun. Are we done, done? We did FOs, we did whips, we did sock talk. Yeah, I actually have something that I was thinking of talking about that um, I was going to... We need Mrs. Brown's bangs. Oh, right. Well, I was going to show something really quick that I'm planning on the needles. Okay, but let's do that. No, I'm going to cast on this weekend, so it's going to be a whip next week. Uh, in two weeks. Okay. So that's, that's, I'm going to leave that for that. Are you sure? Because it's really beautiful. So we would like... Just to let you know that there's going to be um, a small shop update, probably the end of each episode, just to let you know any new things that I've been doing. So if you're uh, done with the yarny goodness, thank you for watching. Yeah. This was... Okay, well, like, it's crazy fun. We've been talking about this since the fall, and we have to say that um, for Even me... Even earlier, in the summer. For me, watching Andy from Andre Stu Knits, and of course... Danny that everybody watches mm. and now Eric from Sticks and Twine is is a new podcaster. They inspire us with things that they knit and things that they do and, and things just that their they lovely talk about. personalities, right? All these yes. people are people you'd want to hang out with. Yes. If you lived near them, you would be like, let's go for coffee. Let's go for coffee and then yeah. come over. So those are just yeah. a very few of the uh, names of people that inspired us. Totally. To have a podcast. If I ever go to England, I'm knocking on Dan and Kay's door. Which I don't yes. know where they live, but uh, bakery bears. I for actually me have sent them something. So it's awesome. I know where they live, <laughs> so we could totally. Okay, stop. so we could go to Little Bobbins too because she's our good one. I know where they live. Don't don't panic. Don't you, lock UK your doors, friends. people. We have no. We're not. No. It's not happening. But um, that's yeah. how much I love watching their podcast. I feel like I could, you know, I would definitely do that. Um, yeah. I watch so many podcasts, you guys, that I couldn't possibly list them all now. We may have to have a little fangirling segment every time. We will. And just talk about people that um, that we're just, we, we can't wait to watch every week. Yeah. A lot of podcasters do that, which is great. Um, it's great. Word spreads and everybody seems to sort of like watching. There's always so. room for one more, isn't oh there? Oh my God. Are you kidding me? I hardly watch real TV anymore. If I'm on my own, podcast, podcast, podcast. Yeah. Knitting and podcast. Yeah. That's the best day. Yeah. Knitting and podcast. That's yeah. my day today. It's Saturday. Okay. What are you doing today? So... I will be knitting. Oh, yeah. I've been so crazy busy this week with lots of bag sewing, and um, Did you which is really good, but I feel like today might be my afternoon of um, new time. Yeah. Um, do you have any bags you want to show? A little sneaky peek? I actually do. I, I would a, love to see I brought them. a few. I'm just going to show you quickly um, some of the ones that I had sewn up this week and that are listed in the shop. Want me to hold them up and you can talk about them? Oh, yeah. Okay, there we go. <gasps> so this one is a uh, little, what are those called? Marat Matryoshka? Does yeah. that sound right? The nesting dolls. Russian nesting dolls. All of my, most of my bags have a canvas bottom. And so that's one of them. Love it. Okay. This one was fun. Little, <gasps> little, my daughter thought it looked like voodoo dolls, but I think intentionally that was a zombie. Super with a cute. turquoise bottom. Color. Yeah. I'm going to Etsy. No, you're not. Tell me which one you can have it. No, that's for birthdays. This one is okay. very fun. I got some really neat response on Instagram. This is like a barn. Go closer. Look side of a barn. Barn with a black canvas. Okay, that is just Isn't amazing. Neat? Yeah, it's so just different. Really neat. Yeah, so different. This is this is so funny because um, Laura from the Fawn Knits, who I have her bag here on the floor right now. She's got my hat whip in it, but. Oh. Um, she has this. She had this fabric on her podcast this week. This is uh, the Gasleys, one of their fabric. Um, 
by Andrew, this is Alexander Henry, I think. Am I saying that right? And then it's got a mauve bottom. So that that's really fun. so cool. Crazy cats. This, this I thought was sweet. This is like a little Paris uh, Paris scene with little girls in their fabulous... I love the little Vespa. That's I totally that. like, oh my yeah. god. With a little, um, like a grey-blue canvasy bottom. Look at all the fashion-y ladies. I so love fun. it. And this one. Because we knitters love our cats. Who doesn't? This is fun. Whimsical cats. I don't do a lot of, um, like... Uh, they look like doodle, uh, doodles. like yeah. yeah. So I just thought that was whimsical with a fun... Um, hot pink canvas bottom love it okay and so they're all on etsy right now right those are all listed right now love those it. i only have in the large size which is a two to three three scheme project which is stand up it's lightly interfaced so you can squish it. it into your bag but it's love still it. enough that it's you know a little bit of structure and it's got tons of room anyway yeah so that's Beautiful. that's my main size that i seem to sell most of everything and so I wanted to talk about something really quickly. Um, I liked, I, you know, was thinking, what can I do that's new in the shop? And um, I decided to do a line after um, some people. I did a Little Bobbins, um, a Danny bag line that was the silver collection. And it had, po there was a polka dot, there was a triangle, which is this, and there was a stripe. And so that was her, the bag named after Danny because Beautiful. we love, love her. And then another one that I felt really connected to and I thought, I'm going to do a bag for, for him is Eric from the Sticks Plus Twine podcast. So he just seems to me, you know, sophisticated, classic, classic, yeah. you know, and I sort of thought, What's more sophisticated and classic than cables? I know. I know. So I am paying homage to my favorite male knitter, Eric. We're having technical difficulties again. So um, just really quick, um, before our camera dies again. So this is my Lutz collection. Love it. Blue, blue, pink, gray, and cream. I and it comes in two sizes, the single skein project and the two to three skein project, which yeah. super handy. Okay. So I think that's our whole uh, agenda of things we wanted to chat with this you about This was so today. much fun. I can't even. This was so much fun. I'm yeah. glad because I feel like once you see a podcaster, you feel like you've met them or you like you know them, right? So You totally get that feeling. Yeah. So now everyone got to meet us today. Yes. It was fun. Yes. <laughs> just kind of kooky. I know, so fun. This was uh, a blast. We can't wait to do it in two weeks again. Yeah, we're hoping to do this every two weeks. So it would be just the most wonderful thing yeah. ever if you guys would subscribe, if you like us. Um, and like I said, our goal is to have knit-alongs and swaps. And it would be really awesome for to have a Ravelry group. But I think those things are down the road a little bit. But who the heck knows what's going to happen, right? Yeah, fingers crossed this video will fingers be Fingers crossed. We're going to try and upload now, ladies and gents. Thank you for watching. Love you. Bye. Bye.